your goals, your passions, your desires. Everything you wish to happen.
could be would it be would it be um a dream you could have that you went to sleep and you had before you're trying to remember it or something you wish you had or something you're trying to remember and you just can't you're trying your best to remember but you just can't remember you just cannot remember so you're trying to come clean Manifesting out everything you're trying to do. You're trying to get back. That's better. Trying to get back to create a visual in your life. Something you're trying to get back. Trying to get back. Something more that suits you more that people just don't. They don't quite understand you for this reason. And therefore you feel like the black sheep, the outcast, the outsider. So what is it you are trying to manifest? Manifest. To manifest in your life. That keeps you goal oriented, that keeps you moving, that keeps you growing to glow and glow and glowing, going to grow, growing to glow, I should say. Fire nuts, fire nuts, fire nuts. That keeps you maneuvering, makes you mature fast and grow fast and grow wisdom fast. Faster than most others. What are you good at? Talents, abilities that you're trying to manifest as blessings. More than money. More than money. Something you've been given in this life and you need. You need. I was down a bit and it looked kind of weird. It was like it. Some kind of weird image, I guess. Uh, I don't know. It's 100 but <laughs> Even some of us kind of like has some kind of spot on the back of it like that. The more. And just paper what you manifest that's more than just the, the money you want something else something more to fill you in this life besides just yes money's good we have to have it we need more than money to fill each and every one of us, right? So, more than just things 
this life more than just materialistic things and the thing is though more than just what money is made of money is actually not even fully paper if you even if you knew that it is made of other materials as well funny story I was watching a video of that <laughs> and a while back and, and they had showed the process and it wasn't it's only actually a little bit of paper but it's made of more than just paper so and so it was very interesting to see that it wasn't just paper <laughs> money should be more of the idea of our blessings to manifest in our lives all the stuff that we need come along with it their own, but we would manifest our own wants, dreams, desires in this life that we really want. And so we choose to believe in what is going on up here rather than just the things around us. We can manifest greatness in each and every one of us. We have, we all have the potential to do so. It's just we all have our own free will of choosing things, even if it doesn't always work out for the best. We still chose it. And yes, we all make mistakes. We all may choose wrong, but we all may choose right too, and wish to do so. And so, if we continue on the right path and listen to others, our blessings in our life will manifest just like money. Just like it. And we... Can really have something. Can absolutely have something. We really desire it. Okay, some more, some more. So you have to ask, one must ask themselves, what do I want in life to manifest just like money? But blessings, something, talents, abilities, creativeness that we're good at manifest what you are good at, the creativeness and your own life, things that you're good at. So eventually, all the materialistic things such as this materialistic money, instead of the money and everything else you're blessed with, like family, friends, everything. The people in our lives are more spiritual. Those are spiritual blessings. But money, even though it is needed to have, or physical, something to think about. What you're experiencing today is only temporary. But the after is forever. The eternal is forever. Everything that comes after in this life is more than a hundredfold of the it is forever. So, counting out all our spiritual blessings rather than the physical. Yes, physical is good, but spiritual is even better. What do you think about it? And so, we have the right idea, we must have the right idea that blessings are like physical money. It's only blessings in our life from human beings. Um, our talents, our abilities, our craveness are just like money. But it's more spiritual blessings versus physical, like physical money I have in my hand. All the spiritual ones manifest out tenfold to manifest blessings out in the physical to give us things like this and all the other physical materialistic materialistic things. So what really is more important? Yes, physical things, even physical money is important, but spiritual things are more important, if you ask me. It's like, I don't know, it's just like, 
too many of us just choose not to. We just don't listen. It's a problem. And it's not even just use. It's it has to do with mindset, not age. Really, think about it. And people just get caught up in the things of this world. We just all get caught up in the things of this world that they eat us alive. And they burn in our souls on the inside to corrupt us all. Just like graphene is going to corrupt the entire human. Note to self, graphene coming to corrupt DNA. And so, take it as a message that spiritual things are more important because everything has a root. It's always spiritual, but it always, everything that is in the inside, that manifests, it always starts from the inside. In the internal and it, it manifests its way out and so it always everything that is internal is spiritual and everything that is external is physical so everything always starts in the spiritual manifests out into the physical so whatever you start pursuing out on the inside and that manifests on the outside is what is going on in you but everything that's going on the inside is more important than everything else that's happening out around us in this world, society, culture, family, friends. Thank you. I said that. And so, once you know where to start at, which is everything that is internal, and make your bed first, you can go out and make everybody else's bed too. But be wise, play your cards right. And really, if you're wise enough and build up your fruit, your spiritual juices, your, your liquid wisdom, this will manifest for sure in your life. I wonder why so many people are out playing lottery and doing all these other things. These are the types of individuals. There's nothing wrong with this. I'm just saying. You want everything that is external first, but really, in the beginning, if you want anything great, it always has to start on the inside, everything that is spiritual first, which is always internal, before you can manifest. So people that are always chasing after money all the time are usually the ones that don't end up with a lot of money or a lot of blessings, I should say, in their lives, because they never started on the inside first before they started on the exterior. Building up wisdom is always more important than knowledge. Knowledge will come later, it will come through it all, through the journey. But how does one collect wisdom? Oh yes, listening, yes. And key notes, always starting on the inside, spiritually, before you can reach out to the external. Physically. ASMR. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Till next time. Start on the inside. And then let it travel.